I have some new Urban Decay Holiday 2014 goodies to show you guys today. I went ahead and picked up a couple items from their their recent launch and then I also did a demo with the products. I have um, some on my cheeks, my lips, and also on my eyes so if you're interested in seeing how the products perform first time and, and stuff like that you can hang tight towards the end of the video and it will be there for you. But um, let's just jump into the big one here which is the Urban Decay Vice 3 palette. So this is what the box looks like. Um, very colorful and very like Urban Decay to do stuff like this and I always think that their packaging is just so pretty. So that is what that looks like. And then the actual palette this year, it doesn't have, um, oh, losing things here. It doesn't have one of those buttons like um, the previous two palettes where you push it and it, you know, pops open nicely. Um, uh, the quality, the plastic doesn't feel like super, super heavy duty, but it's not, it doesn't feel super, super cheap either. It's kind of somewhere in between. Um, it's a little less substantial perhaps than the last two vice palettes but uh nonetheless it is very very pretty but collects fingerprints like no other as you can see there um this palette is ever so slightly slimmer than um the previous two palettes as well which i'll show you that in a minute but inside of here you have got 20 eyeshadows at 0.03 ounces a piece which normally uh full size eyeshadows of urban decay usually run at uh 0.05 ounces so a little bit lower on the spectrum for size wise but um inside of here are the shadows. You do have a nice mirror so if you're into using palette mirrors and stuff like that it's there for you. Um, so there are the shadows and it does come with your double-ended brush which I never use these. <laughs> I like you know I'm particular about my brushes but it does have like a flat shader slightly blending on the side and then a round blending on the other and it's like that um, golden lime green type color and it says Urban Decay Vice on there. So the palette contains uh, six mattes. You have got Defy over here, which I'll get up close and show you swatches and stuff as well. Heroin, which is a blue. And then these four on this side right here are mattes. The DTF, uh, why does that sound familiar? That does sound familiar. It can't be, it says 20 new shades. <laughs> um, anyway, it's got some slight sparkles in it, but, but it kind of comes off more as a matte shade. And then the Truth shade is semi-satin, but it's also um, has a more of a matte feel to it than anything. Otherwise, everything else in here has got a shimmer or a sheen to it. Uh, there are no shades that are that really heavy glitter that Urban Decay does. Like, now, the shades that I used, I was just totally drawn to this uh, fourth row over here. Those burgundies and, like, um, pinks, I guess. Uh, I was just drawn to it. So those are what I did use on my eyes. As you can see, if you were to look at this row in the palette here and then look at my eyes, it doesn't come out quite as intense as it looks in the palette. And then this truth shade which I use underneath the brow bone was very very powdery and it's got it's got that matte feel to it kind of similar to the um Naked 2 Basics palette which I do have that and I had such trouble with that. It was a patchy patchy mess for me. I only use it that one time, but usually when I <laughs> when I have so much trouble with the palette, I really have to force myself to use it again, which I, I really need to do to give it a fair shot, but it really didn't work nice on my eyes at all. But this Truth shade, and so does the DTF shade, they kind of feel like that. Which the texture of them is really thin. I mean, they feel silky to the touch, but they're they're really finely milled, so they're going to feel silky, but they're drier and they're powdery. And they're, they're just lacking a little something something in my opinion. But uh, anyway, let me get up close to the camera and show you guys these up close and give you some swatches. So here is the palette up close. This row right here is pretty neutral and pretty matte. This one here is the other matte I told you about called Heroin. And then also Defy over here is a matte. Otherwise we've got Truth, Dragon, Vanity, Alien, Last Sin, Undone, Freeze, Lucky, Alchemy, Angel, Downfall, Heroin, Rain, Bondage, Defy, DTF, Broke Down, Bobby Dazzle, Sonic, and Revolver. And Urban Decay does say on the back of the box that they are never 20 never before seen shades. So they are all new according to Urban Decay here. So let's go ahead and swatch these here. I'm just going to turn it this way so that <laughs> I can use my uh, four fingers to swatch these for you guys. There are those ones. The neutral shades there. This row. Bam! <laughs> they sure swatch nice, that's all I know. 
and then we'll do this row. This one here is a, the white one there is a little bit uh, sheer there. But. And then this row here, which I used three of the colors, four of the colors, three, three of the colors in this row. <laughs> These are just, I just, I love colors like this, so there's those. So pretty. See, like, that intensity, you know, I didn't feel like the, that intensity transferred to my eyes. I, I don't know. But that's, those they swatch beautiful. And then this last row here. So real quick, I want to show you guys um, the difference in packaging between the two palettes. So there's the thickness of them for you. Um, otherwise, let's see. The they're the same size this way, but this uh, the older packaging is a little bit thicker. There is a comparison. I haven't since the lids don't go all the way back. It's kind of hard to hard to hold these. But the top one is the Vice Three palette there, and the bottom one is the first Urban Decay Vice palette. For a comparison for you guys. Oh, my fingers don't go anywhere further outwards. <laughs> Right there. And here is a comparison of the Vice 3 with the lime green, this one right here. And then the other one is the Vice 2 palette. So you guys can, can compare those ones. Now I do know that Urban Decay released another Vice palette, a limited edition one. They like popped it up on Sephora real late in the night, early morning one day, and it sold out like super, super fast. Like so fast that it's like, why did they even do that? So I want to say it's probably a, maybe a marketing tactic or something like that. I hope it will be back because I really want it. <laughs> So that is the Urban Decay Vice 3 palette. Um, I do like how the look came out. I had minimal fallout with the darkest shade that I used in the crease. Uh, the matte shade I used underneath my brow was very powdery. There was like powder <laughs> shooting all over. Um, but I do like how the look came out. Granted, I think it could be a little bit brighter, a little bit more intense um, than it came out. Granted, this is just, you know, our first impressions and I need to use it more. So um, that is that. Now let's jump into the little lip set. Uh, it is called the Urban Decay Full Frontal Lip Stash. This is the packaging, which I love. This is my favorite, like, emb emblem or, like, style of their packaging when it looks like this because it reminds me of the, um, that thing back there. <laughs> um, the Mega Palette or the Motherload. Yeah, that's what it's called. Anyway, really pretty box and the packaging of the lipsticks mimics that as well. But there are three, um, three exclusive new shades. There's Lady Flower, Crush, and the third one is Illicit, which I wouldn't mind if Illicit... I'm hoping that these exclusive shades are going to become permanent to their line eventually because the lipsticks in here are pretty tiny and I really like the Illicit shade. So, And here is the box that they come in. It flips open like this and I pop these out here so you guys can see um, the shades. And this does come with a full-size ozone lip liner, which is just a clear lip liner. I totally spaced out that I was going to use it today and use the different Urban Decay lip liner, but that is in there. I do need to give that a shot because I've never tried a clear lip liner before. It should be interesting. So so this is the cute little uh, packaging right here. And you've got, right here you've got Lady Flower Crush, Illicit, Gash, Liar, and F-Bomb are the lipsticks in there. But isn't, I just think this is the cutest little deal ever. So let me go ahead and swatch these for you. So here are the swatches. This one is the Illicit. This middle one is Crush, and this one over here is Lady Flower. And I do have Illicit on my lips right now with um, Wicked Lip Liner. Everything will be listed down below that I have on my lips, but there are those. The Illicit shade could use a tiny bit more pigmentation, but it came out really nice with that lip liner. And then here you have Gash, Liar, and F-Bomb are the other lipsticks in the set right there. And the last thing that I picked up from their holiday stuff that has come out so far <laughs> is the Urban Decay Naked Illuminated Powder in Aura, those super sparkly powders. Um, I didn't pick up any of the liners, like their 24-7 their Glide-On liners, because I use pencil liners on the waterline, and those those are off on me in like 10 minutes. 
<laughs> so I didn't get any of those. They're not they're not my favorite liners. But um, let me go ahead and show you guys uh, this next to the luminous shade because this aura shade is more skin toned. So it might work out on um, light, medium, dark skin tones a little bit better than the first one, which is a little bit lighter. Even though they're they're sheer enough actually to be used on probably all skin tones because they don't have a lot of pigmentation to them. But they've got a lot of sparkle, and I'm all about the sparkle. <laughs> So that is what the packaging looks like. It feels kind of like a little faux suede on the outside, soft texture. And then in here are the two powders. This one right here is Aura and this one over here is, they call it Luminous now. I don't I don't believe it had a name when it first came out, but now it's called Luminous. So you can see Aura has got a little bit more fleshy tone to it. And I did put it on the tops of my cheekbones today and um, it has a tiny bit of pigmentation to it, but um, I got away with it I think for my fair skin, so that was good. But I love the sparkles of these powders. And then they do come with a brush in here as well. But let me swatch these for you guys. This one's Aura. And then this one is Luminous. So you can see Luminous is a bit... It's like a white, white uh, silver kind of color. <laughs> and there's Aura right here. So... So those are the Urban Decay goodies I picked up. If you guys are interested in seeing how these products perform, because I do have them on my face, you can hang sight, and we will get into it right now. So I already went ahead and primed my eyes with the RMS Uncover Up in 00. I'm going to go ahead and take this shade right here, which is called Alien, on a flat uh, shader brush. This is a Goss number 18. I'm just going to pick up some of that. It's kind of like a looks like a satin finish. And I'm going to pack that on the lid. It's showing up a little bit darker pink than I thought it would, so um, I'm going to take a little bit of, of Bobbi Dazzle. It's kind of like a creamy white shade. I'm just going to pick up some of that and go over that pink just to lighten it up a bit. See how it goes here. That's a bit better. Now on a Chikoto GSN 10 brush, I'm going to pick up this shade right here, which is called Bondage. Just gonna pick that up on the tip of that brush there and go into the crease with it. Well, that's traveling quite lovely. So they look a little something like that. My mom came in and she told me about, um, she's got one of my yearlings in the barn. We're working colts and doing kind of all kinds of like horse stuff as soon as I'm done here. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead with another GSN 10 brush here. And I'm going to, I could pull this two ways. I could do, you know, real pinky purple or I could do this uh, coppery, um, copper shade right here. It's like called Sonic. It's like a copper pink shade. What do you guys think I should do? <laughs> I'm trying to decide between that one and Alchemy. Okay, I do a lot of pink and purple, so let's let's do Sonic right here. This shade right there. On that GSN 10, just on the tip, pick up some of that there. And let's go ahead and blend out bondage with that. Pick up a bit more product. Okay, let's pick up some more Sonic because I don't want, I'm going to dust my brush off here. I don't want, um, I want more Sonic color <laughs> in there than the bondage right there. Just go over that again here. There we go. A bit. Yeah, I want that quite saturated there. And then I'm going to go back in with the other GSN 10 into the crease. I'm not going to pick up any more of the bonded shade, but I'm going to run that brush in there. Just in the crease here. Mm, about like that. 
Now I'm going to go back into Alien on, again, this, uh, another Chikohoro GSN 10. This uh, pink shade that we put down on the lid initially. I'm going to pick up that. And let's blend out the Sonic shade here. Phoebe is... I don't know what she's doing back there. <laughs> now I'm going to go in with a Hakuhoto J5522 brush into this shade right here. It's called Truth. It's like a matte. Ooh, a very powdery matte. Like a matte satin, I guess. Very, very powdery. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and put that right underneath the brow bone. <laughs> really powdery. <laughs> I feel like I need to intensify some more with the uh, shade Sonic right here because it kind of got lost there when I put the alien shade down. So I'm going to put a little bit more of that on a uh, GSN 10 uh, Chikahoda brush again. I'm going to put that a little bit more through here. Because I like lost it. For liner on top, I use this um, Creolon Cake Liner in this shade right here, which is called uh, Aubergine. It looks really cool. <laughs> and on the waterline, I put um, the Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Crayon in uh, Plumage, which um, you need to be a little cautious about because there is uh, some fine glitters in this one, so you got to be careful about the waterline in this. But um, now for lips, I decided on the... Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in the shade Wicked. So I'm just going to go ahead and line these and bring it in just a bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill it in with this... Um, little lipstick from the set in the shade Illicit, which um, it's one of the new exclusive shades to this kit. I'm hoping they're going to come out with this in a full size because the color is really, really pretty. It's kind of a, um, a slightly mauve uh, pink shade. Tiniest lipstick ever. <laughs> oh. totally spaced out. I was going to use that ozone lip liner, the clear one that came in the little lipstick set. I forgot about it. <laughs> I like a little bit more definitive look anyway, but um, before I do forget about this, I want to put a little bit of the Urban Decay Naked Illuminated uh, Shimmering Powder for Face and Body, and this is in the, the new shade called Aura. I'm going to put this on the tops of the cheeks. I think we're going to sparkle. <laughs> It's a little bit um, more fleshier toned than the other one, which um, it doesn't have enough pigment, I think, to affect it on my light skin tone, though, so that's good. So there is the overall finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. <laughs> um, thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.